What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are having a great day. Today I'm going to be fixing a couple issues with the brakes on the MX650. So nothing's actually broken. They're just a few items that I don't like about it from the factory configuration. Um, I usually ride mountain bikes, so I don't like how the front brake is on the right and the um, rear brake is on the left that's just opposite for what I'm used to. So I'm gonna be switching the, the, um, the cables around. Um, another thing that I am gonna be taking care of is the, um, the cutoff for when you apply the brakes, it cuts off all power to the, um, the motor, which, or to the throttle, which um, I actually don't like. So when you're on gravel and you just touch the front brake a little bit, it doesn't allow you to throttle, so you can't do any fun skids or anything like that uh can't even try to do a burnout with the brakes applied so i'm gonna do something about it um one last thing is the tension on the uh the cables you'll notice that if i fully apply the brakes it bottoms out uh, so it's not tension tight enough it's actually pretty weak and on the front same deal i can bottom it out easily so we're gonna tighten those up. Also, please excuse the mess. I just moved in uh, to my new apartment with this garage, which is much larger than my last one. So the movers actually just stacked everything on top of each other. See like my kayaks covered in boxes and stuff. So please excuse the mess, it'll get cleaned up. So as you see the right handle, this cable goes straight to the front caliper left handle this cable goes to the back to the back caliper uh, and to switch these two you're gonna have to loosen the tension on the caliper so it releases the cable unlocks it uh, and then we're gonna fully compress the brake handle and pull the head of the cable out this way and same thing with the other side pull the head out of the cable through this opening out this way and we're gonna pop both cable housings out and switch them into place. Um, feed the head into brake handle and then feed, feed it into the same slot. And then we're gonna pull the cable outward to add some tension to it and tighten things back up. Let's get started. So switching the cables around was pretty straightforward. The silver piece, you actually have to unscrew it counterclockwise uh, to pull it out of the housing and then screw it in clockwise onto the other handle. Same thing goes to the other one. Uh, as far as adjusting the tension, just take some trial and error to see how you like it. But now it doesn't fully bottom out with a good amount of effort. Same thing with the rear. Take some effort to bottom it out and definitely feels a lot stronger now. So the other issue that I have with the factory brakes is that when any brake pressure is applied whatsoever, it does not allow the throttle to do anything. So you see the throttle works, just a little bit of brake and it deactivates it completely. Uh, same thing goes with both handles, you'll see that there's a insulated wire that comes from the brake handle on each side. I believe there are two wires inside of these. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip them off here and see what happens. I think that's gonna completely deactivate it. Uh, I might have to strip the wires down and connect them together to be able to completely bypass that safety feature. Thank you. 
So it turns out I was wrong. It's actually much simpler than that. I just snipped the cables off and I just shortened them and tied them to this cable for now, but I'm actually gonna take these two cables out. I just don't feel like disassembling the bike right now, but all you have to do is um, unplug these from the controller and snip them off the handles and it's actually completely deactivated. So now, even with any brake applied, the throttle still works. So let's test it out if I can finally do a burnout. I also like that there's two less cables coming through this. So it looks much cleaner on the front. Well, it works. So that's how you do it. That's how you switch the cables left and right, uh, tighten up the tension and deactivate the safety switch. Um, so now you can use that left hand to hold the front down in place while you use the right hand to slam it on full throttle and do a burnout or just skid around a corner if you're in some gravel. Um, I wish you had this option from factory from Razor, but I can see how it could be a liability issue if you have like a 12 year old kid who hasn't had that much riding experience go out on a bike and, you know, um, oversteer and whatnot. But if you found today's video to be helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with the MX650 uh, mini supermoto build, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.